Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be uploading a updated log bait guide on the current meta. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you guys can't watch the whole thing, or if you think you may need it later in the future, make sure to add it to your watch later tab so you can always come back to it because I will have the timestamps of every matchup linked in the description. So if you guys lose to a specific deck, you can come back and check and see what I did maybe for a second time or see what I did for the first time and stuff like that. So yeah, that should be nice. I am in the first game here against Rockin. So this is a pretty difficult matchup. Besides what people say, Lava Hound is not very good for log bait because they do run the arrows. They usually run Evo Zap as well now. Even if they don't run Evo Zap and they run arrows plus Snowball, nobody's running Fireball, which makes it much, much harder. Okay, I can Knight Goblin Gang here on the left because he has no Bomber in Cycle, and I know all he has for this is Skeleton Dragons. And Skeleton Dragons will not save his tower, so I get the entire tower right there. And the only reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because I know that he's going to have to overspend on my Princess and my Tesla, and once he does that... I can get a lot of damage on the right side because I have Evo Knight Goblin Gang to pressure him. He has to arrows on top of this princess or else the tower will get saved. Yep, right there, exactly. And now I'm going to Goblin Gang the bridge. I'm going to Evo Knight in the pocket because I know my Evo Tesla is going to be coming up for the next Lava Hound. So now I'm going to get a huge damage lead on the right. And on top of the huge damage lead, I cycled to my Evo Tesla for defense. He does go for the Evo Bomber in the middle. That will get like maybe three shots times two, obviously. Yeah, that's six Bomber shots right there. I lose more than half of my tower, but I have a 1400 damage lead and I have Evo Tesla for defense. So I should be safe as long as I play this well. I'm just going to Goblin Barrel here to threaten the tower. Right, his tower is now in rocket range. I will Princess the bridge because no matter what he does, he will just give me Evo Tesla value. He goes for a Lava Hound on the left side which is kind of weird but i think i know what he's trying to do he's trying to cycle to a second lava hound and from this position you always want to defend when when you're up against lava hound you always need to play good defense and you can never really like just go for their king tower because you will never three crown a lava hound player with log bait bad balloon right there that evo tesla does have a ton of hp you also need to cycle two to three princesses on defense here i do have a second tesla after the evo and now i can just go for the e spirit here on top of the lava hound he does evo zap so i need to get my next princess down but since the lava hound's dead he now has nothing to pressure me with i do goblin gang here to take this away and now i have tesla ready in case he wants to go for a second balloon and i'll just tesla here and this will be good game very nice win right here and this match perfectly shows how to beat lava hound just go for the e-spirit log here because i get a nice damage lead take the tower and then capitalize off of the evolved tesla because evolved tesla demands a huge response on offense and they need to overcommit a ton to kill it all right we're in the next match here against sweep and this guy usually does play with giant graveyard Giant Graveyard is quite hard for log bait, but the nice thing about it is that they do run the Cannoneer Tower, so whenever they go for either Snowball or Zap on top of your Goblin Barrel, it will not full counter it, so that's kind of like a dead card, and especially now that they've been running Evo Zap in it, if they go for a Zap on top of your Goblin Gang, then they will retarget the Graveyard onto your Princess Tower, so then your Towers will also help out on Graveyard Defense. And, okay, I'm going to Knight here, and then here, this is a pro tip right here, I go E-Spirit plus Tesla, and this will activate the King Tower. This is very important to beat Giant Graveyard, and now a Goblin Gang on the right, because he doesn't have a lot of El Elixir. And the main game plan in this matchup right here is you want to try to get the King Tower activation early, and then you want to get small chip damages and single Elixir like this with the Goblin Gangs at the bridge, because Zap does not really do anything against this deck when they have Cannoneer Tower, because, as you saw there, he zapped the Goblin Gang and still took... 1600 damage basically i'm gonna goblin barrel here as well i know all he has is guards and if i put it right here then maybe he could mess up perfect you always want to adjust your goblin barrel placements based off of what they have in their deck i knew he had guards right there so i just put it in a placement where if he sees it i won't get anything but if he doesn't i'll get quite a lot of damage and either way if he saw it then i would have got no damage anyways right so doesn't really matter there's no point not to switch it up and because i have the king tower up this will make it a lot easier on defense the main thing you need to do if you get to a point like this is just defend and play good but annoying offense. I'm just going to rocket here on the bowler because I know that with that rocket, I'll only need two more rockets to finish off the tower. Always, guys, remember how much your spell damages do. At level 15, your rocket does do 538 damage and then your log does 84 damage. So you need to be very careful. I mean, rocket does 541. Sorry, I miss said. I'm going to go for the Evo Tesla here. Evo Tesla is very good in this matchup as well, because if they do play with Evo Bats, Evo Tesla will take care of them. I'm going to go for the Goblin Gang here on top of the Giant, and then I'll log two. 
There's nothing he can really do from here. <laughs> what was that graveyard? Okay, I'm going to Goblin Barrel to pressure while defending. You always want a Goblin Barrel when they graveyard, when they have the cannon in your tower, because they always have to spend arrows or more, because they will always take damage. They can't zap, they can't snowball, whichever small spell they have, because that will never do anything. And here, I do just need two rockets, but remember, I have 4,200 HP, so there is really no point for me to go in too aggressively and cycle two rockets i may as well just play it passive out cycle him wait for him to go in to get my damage because all i'm doing is risking the game when i don't really need to he goes for the graveyard here i'll just princess behind my tower you always want a princess behind your tower opposite lane when you're defending a graveyard push because they can't get it with the spell and then it will also chip it out from very far away which does actually add up over time and help I can just Tesla here on top of the bowler. Tesling on top of the bowler like this is nice as long as you have a tank so the Tesla doesn't take damage because now you see it will kill the bowler and it defends the giant next. I can Goblin Gang here because he has no arrows and when he has no arrows he can't finish off the Goblin Gang because he only has Zap obviously unless it's Evo. But if he has Evo you'll need to adjust your defense or at least force it out to get to the Tesla. Here I can just go for my Knight. E Spirit on top of the graveyard. I'm going to barrel to pressure while defending and then log. And this should be good game because he doesn't have enough elixir to defend. Oh, he barely got that down. Now, though, because he got that down, I can rock it. And the reason I can rock it is because I have Evo Tesla and Evo Knight. So even if he does go for a giant graveyard, I have the Evo Tesla to help me out on defense on the graveyard and the giant. And he just gives up. GG's. Very good win right there. Ooh, okay. We're in the next match here against Hunter. Obviously, as you guys know, Hunter is the best ice boat player in the game and to be honest, arguably the best Expo player in the game. So hopefully I could beat him here and teach you guys how to beat Icebow. Icebow, in my opinion, when you exclude Evo Bomber, is the hardest Expo version to beat that has a big spell. Because obviously they have Rocket and they can Rocket Cycle you back. I do think Log Bait doesn't have a bad matchup in any type of way. I think it's either about equal or maybe slightly favored for Log Bait or slightly favored for Expo because of the Evo Tesla. But matchups don't really matter here. I'm just trying to win and hopefully show you guys how to beat it okay i'm gonna go for the night goblin gang here and the reason i'm doing this is because he doesn't have login cycle and he has zero elixir so i'll princess to bridge opposite lane two i do force out the knight but that goblin gang will get a lot of damage very good heads up play right there recognizing his elixir and forcing out the log with the goblin barrel so that was even possible in the first place another nice thing about this situation is that i am cycling to my evo tesla by defending the knight with it and also, against Ice Bow, you always want to get a little bit of a damage lead in Single Elixir because there will be points where they rocket your tower and you're not able to rocket back. Your main goal is to control the pace of the game and kind of make them react to you. Alright, I'm going to Goblin Barrel here. The thing about Hunter is that he knows exactly how to play this deck and he kind of makes it hard for you to control the game with the high Teslas up top. But what is very good for me is that whenever I have my Evolve Knight, it does kind of bail me out against his Expo because... It forces out a lot more elixir than the knight actually costs. I'll princess the bridge here. I don't think he'll expect it. Yeah, nice. I do get one shot right there. He does go for the evil knight plus expo. And because he already has the tesla down and the evil knight down, I do have to rock at that expo. I'm going to e-spirit here as well on top of these skeletons because otherwise that evil knight will actually end up killing that evil knight with too much HP. Hopefully that doesn't hit the tower. I know Hunter will rocket me right now because I don't have a rocket and he's trying to catch back up in damage. Oh, he doesn't actually. That's kind of strange. Surprised he didn't go for it. He he usually kind of goes for things like that. Tries to predict my princess. I'll princess in the middle here, and I think he might try to NATO it in, so I'll go for my... Oh, I'm not going to knight because he's going to NATO rocket. Okay, I'm going to knight here as well. I, I, I knew he would grab the rocket eventually. Here, I think I can pressure him, though. I'm going to E-Spirit Barrel. Princess to bridge two. I do have another knight goblin gang coming up. I'll goblin gang here on the left, and this should be some good damage. I don't see him really getting out of this for not taking a lot of damage. I'm just going to go for the E-Spirit here. I'm going to go for the Goblin Barrel, and this should be quite a lot of damage. Wait, he's back to the log, dude. That was actually really good. That was really good. I'm going to Princess. Maybe I can get a hit. Okay, hopefully I get a Princess shot. Please, bro, please. Okay, at least I get one Princess shot, but that was actually very well played by him. A log here, and wow. I kind of got to give him the well played there. I actually thought I'd get a lot more damage here than I ended up getting. That was perfect defense from Hunter. I'm going to Evo Knight Tesla here, and he knows he can't defend that Expo. That's why I even go for the Tesla in the first place, because he doesn't have a Knight in cycle. And whenever they don't have a Knight in cycle, and they don't have Evo Tesla, they can never defend. Okay, that was a bad rocket, though. I'm going to Princess the Bridge here, splash the Knight. I'm going to Goblin again, because I know he's going to log on the left. He has to NATO the Princess up, so now I can go Goblin Barrel and Knight at the bridge. And he has no spells in hand. All he has is Evo Tesla, but he has to Tesla right in front of the tower to block the Knight. And if I Princess the Bridge, the Princess will splash the tower and the Tesla. 
and that's one more shot. Okay, E Spear here. Maybe I can keep it alive. Either way, I'm up so much damage at this point where it's impossible for him to come back through rocket cycling, and he has to come back through a expo connection. So I'm gonna go Night Goblin Gang here to predict the potential expo. He doesn't go for the expo, which is fine. He goes for the log. I'll just go for the goblin barrel here. He still doesn't have the king tower activated. And I also have Evo Tesla to help me out on defense. I'll princess the bridge here. He has to NATO, but he doesn't have enough to block the princess. So that will be one shot and a goblin hit. All I need now is two rockets and two logs. So I'll just go for the rocket here. I have Evo Knight in hand as well. So there's nothing he can really do to get an expo lock. I'm going to log here on top of the tower just because I do know I need one more rocket plus log. I'm going to Evo Tesla here. Goblin gang as well. Force out the log on defense. Yup, E-Spirit here, just gonna go for another night at the bridge to keep the Evo Tesla alive, and Rocket Log will finish off the game. GG's, very nice win there, and I feel like that's a pretty good way on how to play against Expo, just grabbing that damage lead and punishing them whenever they try to go for the Rocket Cycle. Okay, I'm against Tourist now. Tourist is the best P.E.K.K.A. bridge spam player in the world, so if I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to beat P.E.K.K.A., it may as well be against Tourist. I'm gonna go for the Princess plus E-Spirit here to activate my King Tower. Activating your King Tower is the most important thing versus P.E.K.K.A. If you activate your King Tower, yeah, he did already calls the good game. You're looking very, very good because, honestly, after all the buffs to P.E.K.K.A., it's quite difficult to defend when you don't have the King Tower activated. But the King Tower activated makes defense a million times easier because everything is going to be in the middle of the map anyways. Because against Bridge Spam, you guys know you're always kiting things around and always defending on your side of the map because they are bridge spamming you i mean it's literally in the deck's name <laughs> a log here on the mother witch you always want to make sure to control the, the mother witch and cycle to your evo tesla as quick as possible i will say though this matchup is harder than it looks we used to counter pekka bridge spam pretty hard back in the day but after all the changes to pekka and all the buffs to pekka with nerfs to log bait it's actually i don't think it's very good for log bait anymore but if you activate the king tower early on it should be pretty easy to beat P.E.K.K.A. I would say. That's the number one thing to go for. P.E.K.K.A. players are now playing with Evo Bomber and usually Bandit, so you always have good ways to activate the King Tower, usually through Evo Bomber, to be honest. Not often do you get the E-Spirit Princess King Tower activation off of the Bandit, but it does happen sometimes, actually. Okay, as long as I'm careful of the Mother Witch and the Evo Bomber, this should be an easy win for me, but we'll see. I'm just going to E-Spirit here, and then I need to go for the Goblin Gang too, or else the Bandit will dash on my tower. Against P.E.K.K.A., you really don't want to give them any damage. You kind of just want to completely lock them down and only give damage when you know if you don't, you'll lose the game. I will Evo Knight here for the Mother Witch, because it will also counter that Royal Ghost, and I can just log to finish off the Bomber. He will P.E.K.K.A. It in the back, and by the way, guys, whenever they P.E.K.K.A. the back in the same lane as you're going for in Double Elixir, you always want to rocket it just because it makes defense easier, and whenever they P.E.K.K.A. the back, you really don't have anything good to cycle, because if you Goblin Barrel, they will go for like a Royal Ghost or something like that, and then you still have to defend it anyways, and that's just minus six Elixir minimum. I won't Rocket the P.E.K.K.A. this time, just because I Goblin Barreled at the same time, so if I Rocket, that's just going nine Elixir onto a P.E.K.K.A. to not even coming close to kill it. A Princess to back here. I also do have Evo Tesla coming up, so I know I can get a very good defense here. I'll Tesla all the way over here to predict the bomber. Perfect. And with the Evo Tesla spawn and damage, Log will kill that. Okay, I'm just going to go for the E-Spirit here on top of the Battle Ram, and that will be an easy defense. I might have to Goblin Barrel for the P.E.K.K.A., but guys, do not worry when you have to Goblin Barrel on defense. Goblin Barrel on defense versus Bridge Spam is very normal, and I do it quite often, actually, at least once per game, sometimes twice, because... When you're facing bridge spam, they're always messing with your cycle. You're running out of counters. So using the Goblin Barrel on defense is never bad. And here I will go for the Rocket on the P.E.K.K.A. Not only does it give me good damage that I kind of need, it just makes the defense much easier because now I can just Princess the back instead of wasting Elixir that will just die to the P.E.K.K.A. anyways. All right. If I defend this, I think I win the game. I'll go for my Evo Knight here. I'll Tesla and then I'll go for the Goblin Gang. That E-Spirit plus Log will chain the Bomber, which is very good. He gets a Bomber shot there, but it's all right. I'll E-Spirit so the Bandit doesn't dash. I do have to be careful of the second Battle Ram. I'll just go for the Evo Tesla here, and this will be a very easy defense. The Evo Tesla does have so much health where it's kind of hard to break through, so it was good by him to get the Evo Tesla out of my cycle. I need three Rockets to finish off that tower, but... Yeah, he's going to P.E.K.K.A. opposite lane. I'll Princess the Bridge here just to be annoying. I will force out a Royal Ghost, hopefully. Yup, nice. And now I can just Knight on top of it. Looking good, looking good. Whenever they have Royal Ghost, you do need to Knight on top of it because he has Arrows and Zap, so Goblin Gang will not really be that useful against a Royal Ghost. I'm not going to pressure while defending here. I'm just going to go for the Goblin Gang Princess far away. You never want to give spell value 
also two logs does kill the mother witch which is very important it's really hard to kill mother witch so most of the time you do log on top of it twice i'll hide tesla here don't want to give him any damage just want to completely lock the game down with my teslas my princess and my other bait cards okay i'm gonna e spirit here to keep the princess alive for a little bit longer hopefully my princess could kill that bomber oh man that's unfortunate okay he has two full health P.E.K.K.A.s down. I'm going to Evo Tesla. I'm not worried, though. I'm going to Evo Knight here. I'm going to go for the E-Spirit Goblin Gang on top of the Battle Ram. Log here. Oh, my. I might be in trouble. I'm going to Tesla here again. Knight to make sure the Battle Ram does connect to the Tesla. Goblin Gang low. He has nothing in hand. E-Spirit. Log for the Evo Bomber. And then Tesla. Perfect defense, guys. That is why you need the King Tower activation. Two full health P.E.K.K.A.s. He got zero damage. Always activate your King Tower versus Pekka. If I didn't have that King Tower activated, I lose my tower 10 times over. Amazing game right there. We're in the next match here against Safe. This guy does play with Golem. Usually plays with Golem Elixir Collector. Guys, Golem Elixir Collector is usually a fine matchup depending on the version. I know the version that he's been playing is Dark Prince, Night Witch, Evo Knight, Evo Zap, Pomp, Tornado, Baby Dragon. I would say this is a good matchup. The only problem, honestly, I will say is the Baby Dragon. Baby Dragon is really difficult for me to kill, but I think if I play good in single elix elixir, I think I win pretty easily, to be honest. I'll Princess here on defense, and then I can get a good rocket on the Elixir Collector. The main thing in this matchup is to never let them get an Elixir Collector on you in single elixir. In double elixir, it's more bearable if they only get one, but if they start stacking up the elixir collectors, it's pretty much game over. You also want to line up your Evo Knight with their Evo Knight because of how good Evo Knight is at tanking and making dual lane pushes. You don't want their Evo Knight to tank for the golem forever. Okay, he goes for the golem right there. I think that was a good golem because I'm down quite a lot of elixir right now, but with good defense, I'm still fine either way. I'm going to set up the early Tesla here. You never need to get nervous against Golem Elixir Collector because they don't run big spells. So even if you're down in Elixir, you can usually cop out a defense every single time. I'm going to go for a log here. And even if you're down in damage, you can always come back because they don't have a big spell. If I just Evo Knight here, this will be a good defense. Ooh, bad NATO by this, by this guy. Also, he doesn't have his Evo Knight anywhere close to in cycle. So I think by the next time he goes Golem, I will have a... Maybe not Evo Knight, but I'll be close to my Evo Knight. I'll Goblin Barrel here. He has no NATO and no Zap, so this should be some pretty good damage. He'll probably just Knight, yeah. That is a lot of damage, though. So this is the good single Elixir that I was talking about. Getting over 1,000 damage is really, really good for me. The only problem is that he will be able to Elixir Collector starting double Elixir, and I won't really be able to rocket it. But I could try to punish him, which is fine. And I'm also, because of that Golem push, I don't really agree with it now that I think about it, because... I will have my Evo Tesla for his next Golem push. Okay, yeah, I'm going to Tesla here on the Baby Dragon to get to the Evo one. Bad Dark Prince by him. And he wastes the, the NATO. Whenever they waste a Tornado, you always want to Goblin Barrel the uh, Elixir Collector. But you never want to Goblin Barrel an Elixir Collector in the middle when they have Tornado because they can just pull the Goblin Barrel to their King Tower for zero damage and you won't hit their pump at all. I'm going to Knight Barrel here to pressure so he can't go for the Golem. I also force out the Evo Knight, which is perfect weight. I, I'm just going to rocket that. I think that's a good rocket because the Evo Knight will take a lot of damage. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang here. At least he Golems the back and can't really make any use of this push. Okay, I have to be really careful here, guys. I'm going to cycle a Princess in the back. I do have both of my Evos coming up, so I should be fine on defense. The only Evo he has is the Zap, so I should be all right. I'm going to go for an E-Spirit here, and you always want to go for your Evo Tesla higher to get as much usage out of the stun effect as possible. I'm going to Goblin Braille here. Okay, he goes for the NATO Evo Zap. I'm just going to Princess again, because now he has no way to kill my second Princess. I can Knight here, keep the Evo Knight alive while also DPSing down that Golem. I'll go for a second Tesla here on top of that Baby Dragon. You just really need to get it off the board. E-Spirit here too. Dark Prince is running to the Tesla. I should be alright though if I go for a Goblin Gang far away. You never want to give spell value. You see how he goes for the NATO? If he hit the Goblin Gang, it would have been over. But now, I just go for a Log and I can go for a third Tesla. The Tesla will kill the Baby Dragon. It will help kill the Night Witch. Just E-Spirit here to take out all these bats right now. And then it will also help with the Dark Prince if I just go for the Goblin Gang. And now I'm back to another Evo Knight. If I just Evo Knight the Dark Prince, everything's defended. Now I have nothing to worry about. Amazing defense right there. Just go for the Goblin Barrel. He doesn't have a Tornado. He doesn't have a Zap. Now he has NATO because he played the Knight, but that's all right. I need like three Logs and two Rockets. I do have Evo Tesla down, so I'm pretty confident in spell cycling him if he goes for a Golem in the back. 
I'll e spirit here. And he does go for the goal in the back. I'm just going to log rocket. By the way, pro tip, always play your log first if you need more logs than rockets because now you see I'm back to my log before the rocket. But my goblin rail did get a hit, so rocket log will take it anyways. But it's very important when you're spell cycling. If you need two rockets and one log, play your rocket before your log or else you'll have to log before you get to the rocket, and that's a whole extra card, and sometimes you can choke the game because of that. Okay, we're against Assault Yusan here. This will be a Log Bait Mirror matchup. Guys, Log Bait Mirror matchups are really complicated, but I'll try my best to explain it while playing. I'm just gonna go for the Tesla here in the middle. The Tesla will counter the Knight and take care of the Princess. The only reason I'm doing this is because he doesn't have Knight in cycle, so the only way to protect it will be to Tesla, but now I can just go for a Princess on top of his Princess. My princess will always kill the princess from there unless he goes for the ice spirit there. I'm just going to go for my knight and now it's going to die no matter what. I'll goblin gang here on top of the princess. He will get one shot from the princess, but it's not really the end of the world. Unfortunately, though, he does go for the goblin gang and I will take a bit of damage from the spear goblins. He'll get one hit if I go for the e spirit. I'm going to go like this. Maybe I could try to counter them all. Yeah, I, yikes. I'm going to take like three now. I could have done it safely, but it's okay because I know if I play well, I can come back. With the Evo Knight and the Evo Tesla, Logbait actually does have a lot more outplay potential in the mirror matchup when you're down because the Evos always help you change tides of the game. I will go for Princess the Bridge here. Princess the Bridge is going to be really important in helping me make a comeback. I'm going to Princess the Bridge right now. I will get at least one hit, but I think only, yeah, only one. I'm going to Evo Knight here as well. Okay, that was interesting by him. I'm just going to Goblin Gang on top of his Goblin Gang. He will have to defend my Evo Knight and my Goblin Gang, which will be kind of hard for him with this amount of Elixir. He's going to Princess, right? I could Goblin Braille right away, but I don't want to. I do get one Spear Goblin shot, which is really good for me. I don't mind this position. The only bad thing is that e his Evo Knight will be coming up. Wait, one hit, one hit. Nice. I actually have a damage lead now. Okay, I'm just going to E Spirit here. I'm not going to go for the tesla it's risky i'm just gonna pre-log here for the goblin gang oh i hit the goblin barrel yo that's huge e-spirit connect all right i am up 140 damage though that's actually game winning if i play it perfectly from here he wasted his evo knight too i'm gonna knight here on top of his knight and i could tesla on that princess just because it will cycle to me to my evo knight but i'll goblin gang just to keep my cycle a little bit better i'll e-spirit here too on the left okay I'm going to Princess here, and from now on, the most important thing is just holding this small damage lead. He's going to have to play a little bit risky because of it, and I could probably make him mess up because of the small damage lead. If he Princesses here, I'll go for the log. Okay, I'm just going to go for the log on the barrel, and then I'll Knight to protect this. Nice. He's going to Princess, so I'll E-Spirit to predict it. Perfect. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. All right, it doesn't really matter too much, but it would have been nice if it survived. I'm going to Goblin Gang here. By the way, pro tip, Evo Tesla does full counter a Goblin Barrel, so I'm going to try to make use of that at some point in this game. I'll Evo Knight here. Not many people know that Evo Tesla full counters Goblin Barrel too. All right, Goblin Barrel here. He has no log in hand. He has to Goblin Gang, but I can get a really nice log on the Goblin Gang plus Princess. That's a huge log. I'm going to Evo Tesla here. It should kill the Princess with the spawn and damage that is on, in, on the inside tile. Perfect. Nice catch. And then Evo Tesla here to kill the Princess. See, that's what I'm talking about. Good usage out of your Evos can win games. He goes for the Knight. Princess will get one shot. So now that means E-Spirit or the Tesla spawn and will kill it. So I'm going to Princess E-Spirit here. Evo Tesla is still getting value. I can log. Evo Tesla is still getting value. It's going to kill that Princess as well. That's why you always want to get to your Evo Tesla in this matchup. Don't force it though because cycling your Tesla too often could make you lose. Tesla here will make the princess die. Oh, never mind. He messes up. I'm going to knight here to keep this alive. I'm going to rocket here too. This will be a free rocket because he's over committing at the bridge. I know he's going to try to spam me right now. So I'll goblin gang. Oh, that was a bad rocket actually. He did go goblin braille. It is in the front. So I'm going to log it. Very nice. Pretty good log right there. Always make sure to catch that. If I didn't catch that, I could have lost the game. I get another spear goblin hit. That's really good. I'm getting small ticks of damage just because he's having to play very aggressive to make a comeback. Oh, Princess here to kill his Princess. I don't really mind. And then I have Tesla predict his Princess. Ooh, that was a good Goblin Gang E-Spirit here. Go for the Evo Knight, then Log. He's going really aggressive right now. I can Evo Tesla to kill that Princess. E-Spirit here too. Nice. Knight. And I get a lot of damage over there on the right. So from now on, it's just defense. I don't need the Rocket Cycle whatsoever. But if I Rocket Cycle, it will force him to keep going extra aggressive. I do have an Evo Tesla down, so I could rock it, but there's no point to even risk it. I'll go for the E-Spirit here. I'm confident in my defense to play perfect, so I don't need to rock it until the last second. I'm going to log here on both of those princesses, and then I can go for the Goblin Barrel. Goblin Gang E-Spirit for the barrel. No damage right there. And I get another barrel hit on the tower. 
it's just over, dude. This guy can't come back from here. I'll princess again. I'll go for the rocket now, just as a little bit of disrespect, because I don't really like this guy. I'll log, and yeah, easy win right here. Very nice mirror matchup win. I think that's a textbook guide on how to play against the mirror matchup. You want to get small damage leads and then just play the game as if it was normal because when you have a small damage lead, they have to play extra aggressive. They have to play a little bit risky and careless to get the damage lead back. But if you're playing perfect when you have the damage lead, you will catch them being risky. You will catch them making mistakes and you can just get an even bigger damage advantage. We're in the next match here against Obito. This guy does play with Mega Knight Ram Rider. I know a lot of you guys do struggle against Mega Knight, so hopefully I can show you how to beat Mega Knight pretty easily because unlike what a lot of people think, Mega Knight is a good matchup for log bait most of the time. I'm not going to say every time because obviously some versions of any deck could have a good matchup against anything, but this version of Mega Knight is quite easy for log bait, even though he does have Evo Zap, Barbarian Barrel, and Poison. Triple spell does not mean it's going to be a bad matchup. Sometimes they just cannot break through no matter what they do. He does go for an aggressive Mega Knight the Bridge. I have quite a bad cycle for this, but I'll go for the Tesla Princess E-Spirit, and this should be a good defense right here. He also goes for the Ram Rider. I'll just Knight on top of that Mega Knight. Hopefully that Ram Rider... Nice! It does dash onto the Tesla. That will be a perfect defense right there. Very, very nice. And they do have a small damage lead. In this matchup, with perfect defense, they will never ever hit your tower outside of a spell. But it's honestly hard to play that defense. That Goblin Barrel will get some damage because he doesn't have enough for Barbarian Barrel. And with a damage lead like that, I literally don't need to go in for the entire rest of the game. Obviously, I will just to fix my cycle and stuff like that. But against decks like these, you really just want to go for perfect defense. And you guys probably are wondering, like, how do I need to know when you need to just go for a defense in a matchup? When they do have a lot of spells, usually your best bet is to just play strong defense and spell cycle whenever you're up in elixir because if they have a lot of spells it's usually really difficult to break through in the first place because obviously your entire deck revolves around baiting spells and in one like this i'll get damage every other goblin barrel unless he overcommits, and if he overcommits, he will never break through so with perfect play both of us will will really never get damage but i have the higher damaging spell which is rocket because my cycle is faster than him so rocket will out damage poison in this case he does Mega Knight my Evo Knight. I'll Goblin Barrel just to force out the Barbarian Barrel. It's always good just to force it out because I will outcycle him, which will obviously give me damage on the next ones, or he'll have to overcommit. E Spirit here on top of the Mega Knight. Princess all the way in the back. You never want to give poison value in this matchup. And I can just go for my Goblin Gang at the bridge. Actually, I'll split at the back for the Inferno Dragon. Honestly, no really need to go too aggressive. I'll Barrel now too. He will be back to the Barbarian Barrel. Okay, he goes for the E Wiz. That was smart. It's good to save the Barbarian Barrel for him. I do have Evo Tesla coming up though. Whenever I get Evo Tesla, it's really just a card of saying I can overcommit and get away with it because Evo Tesla does stun the Ram Rider, which is very, very broken. I'll go for the Goblin Barrel here and just set up my Evo Tesla. As you guys see, the only damage he's gotten so far is spell damage. Okay, I'm going to go for the E-Spirit here and then go for my Knight. What the heck? <laughs> the Mega Knight got stunned too many times. It didn't know what to do. I'll take my log damage on the tower and the Ram Rider. Goblin Barrel again because he has no Barbarian Barrel. This should be a tiny bit of damage. Yup, one hit right there. And then I'll just set up Tesla in the middle. Now we're literally in the perfect rhythm where it's kind of impossible to lose as long as I don't mess up. Every time I have a Tesla, I'm just going to put it in the middle and it's going to kill all of the cards that he cycles in the back. And the only time he can ever kill my Tesla is when he goes in for a Mega Knight push. But the issue for him is that every time he goes for a Mega Knight push, I'm just going to cycle another Tesla. He goes for the Evo Zap there, which will help him a little bit on offense. But a oh, Goblin Gang here once the Evo Zap runs out and everything's dead and I'm already back to an Evo Tesla. Okay, I can log here as well. I think I need the E-Spirit just in case. Okay, yeah, nice. Very good defense and I get some damage. I'm down quite a bit of Elixir, but I don't need to worry because I have Evo Tesla in cycle again. Knight here for the e Wiz and the Knight, and then I have Goblin Gang if he goes in anymore. Yup, Mega Knight in the back. Just go for my Evo Tesla in the middle to reset, and this will be an easy defense again. I'll go for another Goblin Barrel, just to force out Elixir. Ooh, great poison by him, actually. I'll E-Spirit here, then I can go for my Knight. And then if I just go for a Log, the Ram Rider should be fully countered. I might need to go for a second Tesla, I do, but once again, if he tries to go make another push, he's going into an already alive Tesla, so... It's like a never-ending issue for him of killing the Teslas in the middle in double elixir. I just always have defensive units down, and it's really hard for him to keep up with my cycle. So I'll always have at least one defensive card down. I'll go for the extra Tesla in the middle here. 
Princess again. I know he's going to Ram Rider, but there's honestly nothing he can do in this matchup. I'll just go for the Knight again. And then I have another Evo Tesla for the Ram Rider. Whenever it looks like it could get scary, I just have Evo Tesla again. I'll go for the Goblin Gang E Spear. That Ram Rider will die. And then I just have another Knight here. My next Knight will be Evo. And there's only 20 seconds left. So it's really just impossible to break through at this point. I'll go for the second Tesla just for good measure. And that is going to be good game. Very nice win right there. I'll just rock it. Goblin Bill. He probably gave up by now. Yup. And if you guys noticed... The only damage he got this entire game was through spells on the tower. He did not hit my tower with anything else, like I said at the beginning. With perfect defense, these matchups are very easy. All right, we found the next match here against Ice. Ice does play with Splash Yard, but Splash Yard now plays with Evo Bomber instead of Barbarian Barrel, which it makes it easier to win, but I feel like it makes it easier to choke because Evo Bomber, as we all know, is probably the best card of like in the game currently i would say the best card of all time but evo battle ram's coming out so i guess evo battle ram will be the best card of all time i'll just evo tesla here on top of the baby dragon not evo tesla but tesla to get to my evo <laughs> sorry i misspoke there he does have cannoneer as well which is nice splash yard players are now running cannoneer tower which makes my offense a little bit easier he will rotate between tornadoes and bombers though on top of my barrel Always put it in the corner, though, when they have Tornado, because you don't want them to activate their King Tower too early, or it could be kind of bad. That Tesla will take out the Bomber, I hope. Oh, man, that's unfortunate. I'll just E-Spear it here. Okay, not bad. I do have a nice damage lead as well to start off the game. I'll Princess here in the middle. He doesn't have Poison in Cycle, so I don't really have to worry about giving him more Poison value. In this match, if you just want to outcycle them in Single Elixir, and here I have a Tanked Barrel plus Knight. So it's just going to force him to overspend on defense, and then I can just Tesla. He might Graveyard, so I'm going to block the bridge. You always need to be careful in single Elixir. So because of that Tesla block at the bridge, it just forces him to go for the poison. And now I should be able to get maybe a little bit of damage. Not right away, but maybe in like 30-ish seconds. I should be able to get some damage because his Tombstone's about to die off. So he's going to have to waste Elixir predicting Princess to bridge. I will Goblin Gang here to try to force out the Evo Bomber, hopefully. Okay, nice. I forced up the second tombstone. Now, Princess to Bridge is going to be a huge threat. And the Spear Gobs are on tower, so I'm getting a little bit of Spear Goblin chip damage right here. Bad LP by him. He didn't block the Spear Goblins at all. I'm going to Goblin Barrel in the center, hoping to force out the Evo Bomber. If he Evo Bombers, I could try to get a King Tower activation. Wait, that was a bad graveyard. I can just Evo Tesla here, and it will clear out all the Skellies, and then I E Spear it for the rest of the graveyard. Perfect defense. Evo Knight at the bridge, too. He might try to Bomber Evo me, so I'm going to be careful. Okay, he didn't. He nados that back and goes for the bomber. Okay, he did, but that was really bad. I go for the... Wait, I'm not going to Goblin Barrel yet because he might LP. I'm going to rock it and then Goblin Barrel. The reason I did that is because I thought he might Little Prince in front of his tower to go for the Little Prince plus ability to kill everything. He didn't, but I still get a ton of damage anyways. And as long as I don't mess up on defense here, he won't win the game. All I need is two logs and one rocket to finish off the match. Okay, just going to go for a Knight up top. Goblin Gang here for the Graveyard because he doesn't have enough for Poison right away. I'll E-Spirit because I know he's going to Poison. And then I have Log ready for the rest of the Graveyard. Actually, oh, don't even need it. Perfect. I'm going to Goblin Brill here. And unless he does a perfect NATO, I will take the Tower. All right, I'll just Log here. I need to cycle back to one more Log. Prince is here to snipe the Bomber down. I just want it off the board. He will be back to an Evil Bomber in a second. I'm going to Goblin Gang immediately. And then if I Goblin Brill, and if he Poisons, it's game over because... He won't have enough for Tornado, and that's game over anyways. He doesn't have enough Elixir. Oh, wow, we actually got the Evo Bomber down. That was good by him, but Rocket Log will take out the game. Very nice win right there against Graveyard. Ever since Graveyard started running Cannoneer, it's been a much easier matchup, to be honest, but I think that's the best way on how to play it. You just want to punish their mistakes very well, wait for them to overcommit, and just go barrel when you're defending because they don't have cheap counters. <laughs> Bro just goes for the drill. Royal Ghost first play. I'll go for my Knight plus Goblin Gang here. Okay, we're good. I might take one Goblin hit, but it's not the end of the world. I'm going to Princess the Bridge opposite lane. Drill is a pretty bad matchup for me, but because of the Cannoneer Tower giving me the initial HP advantage, I can sometimes beat it. I'll, I'll let that Bomber hit. I don't really want to defend it. Wasting your Log is always really, really bad against Goblin Drill, especially this version of Goblin Drill. I'll just Barrel here. Yeah, I let the Fire Spirit go too because I do want to go opposite lane from him. It's better for Log Bait to play opposite lane from Goblin Drill because you can Princess the Bridge while you're defending. Okay, yeah, nice. He's still going opposite lane, which is quite bad for him. I'm going to E Spirit here just because that Goblin will get a hit if I don't. Tesla is kind of weird on defending Drill unless you put it exactly where the Drill is. Like, even if it's in the front by a little bit, sometimes it will get one hit when the goblins pop out. So, I just E-Spirit to be safe. I'll Goblin Gang the bridge here because he doesn't have Ghost, he doesn't have Bomber, and he doesn't have Logs. So, 
it will always have to overspend on it or ignore it obviously but if you ignore it you take like 2000 damage oh goblin barrel here just to force out the log nice okay i'm gonna princess the bridge on that fire spirit because i don't want to take the damage on the left and i will get at least one shot yeah nice i'll e spirit here then i can just go for the tesla plus log i will take one goblin hit but i will get a king tower activation which is insanely good for a matchup like this activating king tower makes drill defenses way way easier and it kind of goes from like impossible to defend drills perfectly to like maybe somewhat possible i have to let the fire spirit go otherwise i'd have to waste at least three elixir and the worst thing to do in this matchup is to waste your evo knight it's even worse than wasting worse than wasting your log because evo knight in this matchup is really just the best way to get away with rocketing their tower possible oh prince is the back here he is going to drill poison i think but I think it's fine that he switched lanes now with this damage advantage. I think I can barely scrape out a win with perfect defense. A log here too. I am going to go for the Goblin Barrel. Evo Tesla is really good in this matchup as well because when you have an Evo Tesla planted at the river, it's really hard for them to actually defend princesses at the bridge. Nice rocket value right there as well. And also Evo Tesla is really good at defending Goblin Drills. Not many people know that, but because it stuns the Goblin Drill, it gives you a lot of time to defend. Okay, I'm going to log here and that should be no hits. Yep, perfect defense again. As long as he gets no hits and only gets goblin drill, spawn and damage plus poisons, I should actually win this game, but that's much easier said than done against a deck like goblin drill where it's so hard to defend. Oh, Evo Tesla here. Perfect. Ooh, I didn't know we'd put it in the front, actually. I'm fine with it, though. I'm not complaining. Okay, I have to watch out for Evo Bomber. I'll just knight the bridge here so he can't go for it. Yeah, he, he's pretty good at the game. Like, Arden Toas did go to the world finals last year and the year before, so I'm probably not going to predict him too often. I'll Tesla here. Okay, I can just go for the log. I might take one goblin hit. Oh, I take none. Perfect log. I'm going to rock it here again. He's actually slowly catching up, though, because he's getting, like, two drill poisons for every rocket, and that's a little bit more than a rocket, so he's slowly catching up, but if I can maintain this lead, I think I win. I do have Evil Knight again. He's going to go for the drill. I'm going to goblin gang. I always like the goblin gang like this just because it does always catch the drill if you do it quick enough, and then I can log. The only thing is it's not very elixir efficient because if he just drills, it's a minus one trade. And if he goes poison, it's a plus three trade. But sometimes you take some hits and have to spend even more. Oh, Knight here to block the bomber. Goblin gang. Oh, no, he's going to get a hit. He got, okay, he only got one hit there, though. I'm just going to go for the rocket again. I need three rockets to win this game. I don't know if I actually win from here, actually. Hold up. This is going to be really close. I have Evo Tesla coming up this way. I can Evo Tesla on this. And then I think I have to E-Spirit too because the Royal Ghost obviously is frozen. Okay, nice. Not bad. He can't get an Evo Bomber lineup from that. I don't think I'm going to Knight here. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang for that. Rocket again. I just need one more Rocket after this. Should be an easy win. I'm going to Tesla here to block that. Wait. No way that hits. What? Wait, I'm going to lose. I'm going to Goblin Barrel the front and block the drill. Oh, no. Log, please. No hits. E-Spirit. Okay, wait. I think I Rocket and I win. Let's go, dude. This matchup is a full Rocket Cycle matchup. Once you get to double, Goblin Barrels will never do anything. Wow, man, I can't believe that Evo Bomber hit my tower and almost stole the win. We're in the next match here against the Fake Hunter. <laughs> this guy does play with Minor Poison, though, so hopefully I can show you guys how to beat Minor Poison. This would be really good to put in the Log Bait Guide if I win. Let me see. I'm just going to cycle a Tesla in the middle if he doesn't do anything. Okay, I can Goblin Gang. Bro, what? He's going so aggressive. All right, I'm going to E-Spirit plus Log here. He, he does play the version with Mother Witch and Log, Evo Bats, Evo Wall Breakers. It's honestly not really the greatest matchup for me, but with really good gameplay, I can win. The main thing saving me is obviously Evo Tesla killing Evo Bats. It's really hard for him to block princesses at the bridge because he doesn't have a mini tank like a knight or something like that. Okay, I can Goblin Gang here, E-Spirit, and then Log, and I should take no damage. Okay, nice. I am up about 800 to start, which is super, super nice. Okay, I'm going to have to Tesla here on that Mother Witch. Guys... Always get to the Evo Tesla as soon as possible. If they get to Evo... Okay, those are really good bats, actually. If they get to Evo bats before you get to your Evo Tesla, you can be in a lot of trouble. He's going to pretty much equalize with those bats. I really like that play, honestly. That was probably the best thing he could have done. Because of that, I'm going to have to switch lanes. You really don't want to go same lane as this minor deck unless you already have a pretty good damage advantage or you're just rocket cycling. Having the Evo Tesla in here does make rocket cycling easier as well. In single elixir, you just want to defend, try to get maybe some good damage, and then in double elixir, you're mainly just spamming your princess down, getting good trades out of your princess, and trying to rocket cycle. 
All right. I do have Evo Tesla coming up. Oh, oh, Goblin Gang here to protect that. Okay, it can E-Spirit Log on top of the Wall Breakers. You always have to E-Spirit Log Evo Wall Breakers if you don't have Tesla in cycle, by the way, or you're going to take a lot of damage. All right, I'm going to Goblin Barrel here opposite lane of the Princess, and then I could try to protect that. Oh, never mind. I don't want to protect it from the Mother Witch. You always just want to let the Mother Witch come up and die. I'll go for the Knight here, and then I could Goblin Gang behind this too. It might be a little bit hard for him to defend, and I get the Evo Bats. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to Princess the Bridge opposite lane just to be annoying. This will get minimum two hits unless he logs. Okay, bad miner. I'll just Tesla here in the middle again, and that will bring me to my Evo Tesla. I'll E-Spirit here as well to keep the Tesla alive. You always want to keep the Tesla alive in this matchup, guys, for as long as possible because it's very hard for them to actually make a push going into a Tesla because everything they have is very, very flimsy and dies pretty quickly. He will go in, but this is going to be a really good Evo Tesla value all night here. Ooh, nice prediction, actually. I'll Evo Tesla here to stop that. And that is going to pretty much clear out everything. Nice. And it's full health, so he can't really even go in for any minor pushes. I can rocket that, but I think it's better if I just save my rocket and just keep applying pressure and control the tempo of the game. That Evo Tesla, after defending all that, forces out a whole bomb tower all night here. He does have wall breakers coming up. I'm going to Goblin Gang here on the side. Ooh, nice poison by him. Okay, E-Spirit. Finish off that Mother Witch. I just need a rocket cycle from here, I think. I don't think Goblin Barrel will really do anything else. I'm going to Princess again. I could maybe try to get some barrel damage, but in these kind of positions, it's mainly just rocket cycle. Oh, Goblin Gang, E-Spirit here for the bats. You always just want to prioritize killing Evo bats. Evo bats are pretty much a minion horde for two elixir that keeps healing, so you need to be very careful. Oh, Tesla here again. Always having Tesla for Evo wall breakers if you're playing it properly. I'll go for the princess here as well. I want to stack up princesses right now. Evil Knight as well. Evil Knight is really hard for this guy to kill when he doesn't have guards in cycle. He wasted them right there, which is perfect. Bats in the back. I have my E-Spirit here. I'm going to go for the rocket because of that bomb tower. Whenever they waste a bomb tower, it's always a good time to go for a rocket, especially when you have Evo Tesla. I can Evo Tesla here on the minor wall breakers. It will kill the minor, the wall breakers, and not really give me any damage. I mean, give him damage, sorry. And because he wasted the poison on the tower, I can go for my princess. Whenever they go minor poison, it's a good idea to go princess opposite lane because princess opposite lane is very annoying for this guy because all of his cards are swarm units, so princess does take care of them very well. I'll go for the rocket here again. Really nice e-spirit value. I'll princess all the way on the side, then goblin gang. And as you guys see, the princesses are stacking up. I do have two of them. It does force out the log, which is nice. I'll go for the knight here. Oh, he does go for the Evo Bats. I'll Tesla E-Spirit, then Princess all the way over to the side. I can't really punish the log because of that Evo Bats push, but it's all right. I'll go for the log again. I'm barely up. Oh, bad Evo Wall Breakers. I'll go for the Evo Knight here, and then I'm going to rock it again. I will be able to get at least one more rocket off before the game ends. I think I win from here. I'm just going to E-Spirit for the Bats. Goblin Gang, predict the Miner. Okay, that was smart by him. I'll go for the Tesla. He will poison, then Miner all night, predict the Miner. Perfect. And then I can log to kill the Wall Breakers. I might have to E-Spirit, but I don't think I do. I'll E-Spirit anyways, just to be safe. Princess here. And now I have Evo Tesla. So because I have Evo Tesla, I really have no worries in the world because Evo Tesla will make it so I can always catch the Miner because it stuns the Miner before it even shoots. And GG's. Very nice win right there. Literally to win that, Spam your princess's opposite lane and rocket cycle the tower because it's really hard for him to deal with the princess's opposite lane. I'm in the next matchup here against Dimitri. This guy does play with Giant Sparky. Giant Sparky is obviously a very good matchup for Logbait, but if you don't know what you're doing, it can be kind of difficult. And even if you do know what you're doing, sometimes they can do a little bit of stuff that makes it quite hard for you to defend or quite hard for you to win. So hopefully I can win here and show you guys how to play. Usually in single elixir, I'm very passive and... I do go for Goblin Barrels, but I don't go too aggressive because the only time where you can really lose is in single Elixir unless you really mess up. I'll Princess here far away, and then I can just go for my Knight on defense. Wait, my Princess just missed all of the minions. I think that's going to give him a mini P.E.K.K.A. shot. All good, though. I don't really mind. I mean, he gets a little bit of damage right there. A little bit unlucky on my end, but it doesn't really matter. I don't want to waste the log to give him a little bit of extra Elixir. I'll just let that Sparky go. He does have Evo Bomber, and I think he's going to Evo Bomber predict my goblin gang so i'm just gonna wait for him to do it i'm gonna log here okay yeah he does go for it but i'll just goblin gang all the way over here very far away and i could get a nice king tower activation oh man okay unfortunate that the e-spirit didn't get down in time all good though you don't really need a king tower activation to beat sparky but it obviously does help and makes it easier too oh goblin barrel I, I like the goblin barrel whenever they giant the back with giant sparky just to give yourself time to set up your defense a little bit better because if you go for your defensive cards too early then they'll pretty much be dead by the time the giant comes up to the bridge or they won't really be in the right spot 
He doesn't have bats, so he will minions with this maybe. And if he minions, I could rock it, but he doesn't minion, so I'll just go for my knight on top of that bomber. He goes for the bats now because he cycled back. I can go for the goblin gang. He does have rage, I'll e-spirit too. And I can go for the defensive goblin barrel. Nice defense right there. Just like Pekka Bridge Spam, do not be scared to defensive Goblin Barrel against Sparky. It's no rush to win. This matchup is easy, but it's not a race, and you don't need to beat Sparky quickly. You just need to make sure that you do win in general. All Knight here. I will Goblin Gang behind this Knight as well. Not right away, because I think he's going to Sparky. Okay, yeah, I'll rock it here. And now I'm going to Goblin Gang. Should force out a card plus Rage. Yeah, I force out the Evil Bomber only, but that's a lot of damage right there. That wasn't worth it, dude. You need to defend better. <laughs> okay, he's going to go for the Mini P.E.K.K.A. here with that Giant. Although, I do have the Evo Tesla. Whenever you get Evo Tesla, defense is always easy again. Oh, wait. The Mini P.E.K.K.A. just ignored the Tesla. I'm going to go for the Knight here. I'm going to E-Spirit too, and then I'm going to go for the Goblin Gang. What the heck? <laughs> this guy just missed his arrows. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because it was too late by the time the bats were already dead anyways, but... Still too late, nonetheless, and didn't even kill it at all. I'm going to Goblin Barrel here. This will get a bit of damage because he has no arrows. The thing is with this guy is he does have arrows, right? But if he arrows is on my Princess, then he can't kill the Goblin Barrel. Or the other way around, if he arrows on my Goblin Barrel, he can't kill Princess. So that's why it's so hard for him to break through in the first place. I can Goblin Gang here. He will Rage. I am going to go for the Princess. I don't need to need to defensive Goblin Barrel here. I do have the E-Spirit, and then I can go for a second Knight. A nice interaction to know is that too many P.E.K.K.A. shots plus arrows does not kill Knight. It will barely survive, so you don't need to worry about that right there. And Rocket will finish off the game. Against Sparky, another good trick is to always pressure while defending. Because there, as you saw, he just ignored a ton of damage and he went all in. He didn't even break through and it was an easy win. Alright, I'm in the next match here against Pandora. This guy did finish number 3 at the Clash Royale League World Final, so... Probably one of the best players in the game, I would say. I don't know what he's playing, but I guess we'll see. He does play everything. Okay, he has Hog. Probably going to be Hog Earthquake then. No top ladder player really plays 2.6 anymore. 2.6 has been kind of dead ever since Oyasu quit the game. He was really the only player keeping 2.6 alive. And there's the Firecracker. Hog Firecracker isn't really an easy matchup, but if you know how to play it, you can make it a lot easier for yourself to win. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Knight here on top of the Firecracker to activate the King Tower. Activating King Tower early is always very important. This matchup is always just a spell cycle race if both players play perfectly, so I do need to try to make sure to line myself up to win that. I do have Tesla for the next Hog Rider if he tries to go for it. Let's see. He's not going for it. Okay, I'm just going to Tesla here low. Yeah, bad Firecracker. He tried to predict my Goblin Gang. I'll just Princess far away. Oh, that's unlucky. It actually splashes on my Princess. Firecracker is dead, though. Not really the greatest Goblin Gang from him, either. I can just E-Spirit to make sure the guards don't get any damage on my tower. Nice defense right there. This guy is not Ian, guys, so... Even though he is a very, very good player, he's not as good as, like, Ian or Muhammad Light, I would say, with Hog EQ, so... Should be nice for me. I'll Tesla here to make sure that the Evo Tesla does support my push. Forces out the Evo Firecracker, which is nice. The Evo Tesla will also defend the Evo Firecracker, so that's all. That's why you always want to put your stuff up top if you can. Especially the Evo Tesla, it just gets so much value. I'll Princess the Bridge here. This should force out a log. It doesn't really have anything else. Oh, yes, Tesla. Okay. I'm fine with that too, though. That is one shot for a plus one elixir trade. Against Hog EQ, the main goal is to just knock it out cycle and have Tesla for every hog. Obviously, that's not possible, so if they do outcycle you, you will need to go for the rocket. It's not bad to rocket hog riders when you get out cycled. It's just you can't get out cycled too often. If you get out cycled too often, then you're just going to lose the game. Sometimes you can get away with goblin gangs on top of the hog riders, but it's only in very specific situations. Okay, I'm going to go for the knight in the back, and then I'm going to block the bridge here with the goblin gang. And then I can just log to defend. I don't need the Tesla here. And that's one of the situations where you can get away without actually going for the tesla on top of the hog rider or the rocket because i blocked the bridge and he couldn't do anything about it because he had no login cycle i'm gonna go for the tesla here very good see if i tesla on that hog rider i wouldn't have had it for the new one and then it would have had to rock it and i would have been very very low on elixir a log here for the firecracker and then i can go for the e-spirit that other firecracker there has been alive for a long time man hopefully it dies soon i'll just go for the knight here I always want to make sure that it goes opposite lane just to support my princess. Ice Spirit's dead too. Okay, bad Hog Rider. I'm just going to go for the Tesla. He does have Evil Firecracker in hand. He is also going to outcycle me because I don't have the three card cycle like he does. So I'm going to Goblin Barrel. So he has to defend the Goblin Barrel so he can't go in for the Hog Rider immediately. And now, by the time he has Hog Rider again, I have Evo Tesla. So that's also a small trick that you can do whenever you know they're about to outcycle you go in with some pressure so they actually can't go in for their win condition i'm going to e-spirit here have my goblin gang ready okay i'll barrel here in the back so he can't get value 
with the with the log in the front okay just goes for the mighty miner i'll just take care of that i think i might need to rock it here no i can't i'm gonna knight here and then i'm gonna go for the tesla up top if i rocketed the hog rider would have gotten a hit because hog rider does not actually die to a rocket not many of you guys know that i don't think but hog rider survive survives a rocket and even if you go for the e spirit it survives on one health so sometimes you can't rocket on the hog rider if it has a tank e spirit here i'm gonna go for the log two against hog you want to be log cycling the same lane the entire game if possible because it's really your main way of damage but the log cycles do add up i've probably logged that tower like eight times or so and that's like over 600 damage pretty sure most of my damage actually came from logs i'm gonna barrel here again he is stacking up firecracker so i'm gonna have to log the evo one evo tesla here on the side you don't want to put it in the middle when they have the evo firecracker done because sometimes it can get random splashes on the tower and also dps down your tesla i'm gonna rock it here because i know i can get away with it okay i'm gonna log here i'm gonna go for another tesla i'm not gonna goblin again because i know he's gonna pre-log exactly i knew he was gonna pre-log because there's no way he goes in there without the pre-log otherwise i could have just goblin gang since he had no firecracker now i rock it on defense and i think i'm just barely ahead and i think i'll just barely win this game as long as i don't take a hog rider shot princess here for the guards evo knight up top i can just go for the e spirit to reset the mighty miner and then i have tesla ready for the hog rider again and yeah this is just going to be a nice win right here I can rock at the tower here. I do need to be a little bit careful because he will outcycle me, but I should get to the Evo Tesla in time. I'll Goblin Gang immediately just so the Hog Rider doesn't jump and then E-Spirit. GG's. Very nice win right there, and I'll see you guys in the next match. We're in the next match here against Kaneki. Kaneki is an Expo Bomber player, so not really the greatest matchup here, but if you play this perfectly, I think maybe... I won't say have matchup, but I have a very winnable matchup here because... I've beat this Expo deck like maybe like seven or eight times out of my last nine times facing it. So with really good gameplay, I think I win this. I'm going to go for the Goblin Barrel here because he did Fireball. Whenever they Fireball your Princess, it's honestly a good sign because you're getting a positive Elixir trade and they're not going for Expos. I'm going to log on the left. Against Expo, you preferably want to play same lane because your log will chip down their tower and their Expo at the same time. Whenever you rocket the Expo as well, you want to try to rocket and then place your card because you will get back to the rocket quicker. Like now I'm only three cards off of the rocket, but if I put the e spirit and then rocket, I would be four cards away from rocket. So you just want to make it as hard for them to outcycle you as possible, especially in single elixir, because in double elixir, you can stall out the Expo without rockets sometimes. But in single elixir, you kind of always have to rocket or Tesla on the Expo. And usually Tesla is the obvious play, so... It's not really too great to go for Tesla most of the time unless there's like a very specific reason on why you can get away with it. He will have to waste his Evo Bomber there, which is good. I'll go for the log. Also, another thing about this matchup is it's very easy for them to get Evo Bomber lineup, so you have to be very careful to not give any. And then I'll just Rocky E Spirit again. By the way, always put your E Spirit in the middle because the Expo will get no damage, but if you put your E Spirit on the side, sometimes the Expo gets one tick. I'm not really sure why, but it's just like a small pro tip. I do have to let the Electro Spirit go, unfortunately, and now he has a damage lead on the right side, so we will be going opposite lane, but it's okay. You never want to switch lanes in this matchup from the Log Bait side, unless you get more damage on the other one. Okay, I do have Evo Knight coming up, though, and usually whenever I get Evo Knight, I can Rocket Cycle their tower. I do try to get them to waste either their, their Fireball or their Tesla, though. Okay, yeah, I'm going to Rocket here on the tower. But this is only because I have Evo Knight, guys. If I didn't have Evo Knight, I wouldn't be rocketing the tower right now. He's going to try to punish me with an Expo, but it's really just not going to work as long as I defend properly. I'll go for the Princess here in the middle, and then I have Evo Knight for the Expo. Evo Knight just tanks for the Expo for so long that it doesn't really matter. Okay, I can get a good log here. Very bad bomber. Tesla here, too. And then I can E-Spirit to predict anything that he goes for. And then I can Goblin Gang on the side as well. He might go for a log. If he does, I'll go for the Knight. I'll just preemptively place it. Okay, he doesn't go for the log, but that Tesla will be taken care of because of the knight, so it's all good. And as you guys see, I did get away with rocketing the Expo. It's just very, very important to know that you can get away with rockets on the tower as long as you have the proper card cycle. Only in double and triple elixir, by the way, that will never work in single elixir, so do not rocket in single elixir. And now I have to go for the rocket plus E-Spirit, and the reason I have to go for the rocket plus E-Spirit is because I don't have Evo Knight, and he has an Evo Tesla down blocking the middle, which will make my cards die very, very quickly. I'll just go for the Knight in the back here, then I can Princess. I also like to go for Knight in the back whenever they try to fireball my tower, because even if he goes in right here, right... Like, I can just rocket the tower because I'll have two knights for defense. He is going to Evo Bomber here, so I'll predict it with the Goblin Gang. Ooh, he doesn't. I'll take it, though. As long as he doesn't get any Evo Bomber damage, it's fine with me. 
I'll E-Spirit here, and then I can get away with the Rocket. I'll Evo Tesla just to bridge block and be annoying, though. There's really no way for him to go in right now. Bad Tesla, that means I'm rocketing the tower. Whenever they waste Elixir and I have Evo Knight, it's just a free Rocket, and then I can log, and I'm just barely ahead in damage right now, but these Rockets will add up. I will be able to get more because I didn't even use my Evo Knight. Okay, I'm going to E-Spirit here. I'm going to Goblin Gang here in the middle. Just instantly try to DPS down this Knight. Okay, he does go for the Evo Tesla. I think I can get away with another Rocket, though. I'm just going to Evo Knight here just to preemptively block the middle. Log here. And I think I'm going to Rocket the Tower. Not right away. I'm going to Princess the middle. Okay, I'm going to Rocket now, actually. I want to get back to my tanks quicker. I'm going to E-Spirit Goblin Gang. Evo Knight will tank on the left for a minute. I'm going to go for the Knight here. And he's just wasting Elixir to kill the Evo Knight. I can Tesla now because he's still defending the Evo Knight. Yeah, that Expo's dead to my Tesla. Very good. I'll Princess the bridge opposite lane to pressure while defending. That will be one Princess shot, and it's good game from here. As long as I play good defense, I win. I don't even need to play perfect. Just good. I'll Knight here. I'll Tesla, and then I can go for the Goblin game because he wasted his log. E-Spirit 2. I'll get back to the Evil Knight, so I'll Princess here to get to it. Very good E-Spirit killing the Spirit. I'm going to Rocket again because I have Evil Knight. Literally, whenever I have Evil Knight, I can get away with a Rocket on the tower as long as I don't give the Evil Bomber lineup. I'll Evo Knight here, and then I have Evo Tesla for defense. Evo Tesla, Barrel again. I have both my Evos lined up. Whenever both of your Evos are lined up, it's literally impossible for them to come back. Very, very good win. I would say that was perfect gameplay there. I'll see you guys in the next match. We're in the next match here against K-Town Rivals. This guy is a Lava Loon player, but he does play the version with the Valkyrie and the Guards. This is a really difficult matchup for Log Bay ever since they added the Cannoneer Tower in here. Usually Cannoneer Tower is an advantage for Log Bay, but in this case it's actually a disadvantage because Guards plus Valkyrie both full counter the Goblin Barrel, and I don't mean using both of them, I just mean either one of them will always full counter the Goblin Barrel because of the Cannoneer Tower, so it's really difficult to get damage. And then they also have Evo Zap now, which Evo Zap kills your Princess, which is really, really difficult too. Nice Barrel damage though on the right. Even though this is a bad matchup, though, you guys, you can always win bad matchups, so don't think, oh, I have a bad matchup, I can't win. I'm going to knight here in the middle to defend everything. I might need to waste my goblin gang, too, but I don't really mind. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to goblin gang here, but it's fine. He still has to defend that with a Valkyrie. I don't have anything good for the Valkyrie, so I will have to E-Spirit log and sack a little bit of damage. Always making sure to hit the tower with the log, though. His Valkyrie will probably get one hit. Oh, bad balloon, I can Tesla here. I always take those Teslas because... I will cycle to my Evo, and I defend the Valkyrie for no damage as well. He could go for a Lava Hound right now because I don't have Tesla in hand, and it will make defense a little bit awkward, but to stop him from going Lava Hound, I can just go for the Goblin Barrel, and he has to defend the Goblin Barrel. The nice thing about Cannoneer is that he can't just ignore cards. He has to defend them. So if I go Goblin Barrel here, he can't Lava. He has to go for the Guards. Yep, okay, he goes for the Guards. Perfect. He could Lava Hound now, but... He's in a weird situation where every time he plays a card, I'm going to play a card. He's always going to have to defend that card. Like, if I log here, he has to zap. Exactly. He knew that, though, so he was pretty quick on it. Now he could Lava Hound because I have no pressure in hand, and I think he will Lava Hound as well. He'll probably wait till double Elixir, so I'm going to leak Elixir right here. It's not really traditional to leak Elixir with log bait, right? But... If I leak Elixir here, I'm just going to wait for him to make the move. And no matter what he does, I'm going to do the right play. I'm just going to wait and I'm going to Evo Knight in the back. Okay, yeah, perfect. Exactly. Because if I just wasted my Evo Knight or my Princess, he can get a free Lava Hound down and he can get a nice defense. But if I go for the Evo Knight once he Lavas, I can make sure my Evo Knight's getting value. Because if I Princess the back, he'll Lava. If I go Evo Knight the back, he'll Lava other lane. And I just played, I just gave him a free evo knight or a free princess i'll go for the e-spirit here try to keep it alive knight here too just to make sure and i can rock it on defense here guys you don't always have to rocket the balloon it's very situational here i know i don't have to rocket the balloon because i have evo tesla for it and if i didn't rocket those other cards i would have just got overwhelmed so i'll just e-spirit here to make sure to keep my evo tesla alive it's always important to keep your teslas alive as long as possible to make it harder for them to make lava hound pushes i'll barrel plus princess here because he has to Skelly Drags on the Princess, but if he does that, it will die to the Evo Tesla. So that's why keeping the Evo Tesla alive is so important. It allowed me to Princess the Bridge, and it gave me more damage on the tower. I'll Goblin Gang the left, force out the Valkyrie. Perfect. Now I can go for a Knight. And because I forced out the Valkyrie, he has no Valkyrie and no Guards, meaning he has to Arrows my Goblin Barrel. But now, he can't Arrows my Princess in the Lava Hound push, so it's literally impossible for him to break through because... My princess will always defend whatever he puts behind the Lava Hound when he has no way to kill it. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang here. I'm going to Princess as well. I'll Evo Knight to block the Skelly Drags. I know he's going to Zap, but here's the thing. I'm giving him one Balloon hit because if I E-Spirit, he only gets one Balloon hit, but it's on the wrong lane because he wants to go same lane as me. So I'm going to Goblin Barrel now. Those guards won't cut it. He needs to defend again or else I'm going to get a lot of damage. Yep. 
That's perfect. And see, if he goes other lane right now, I can start spamming him. So he wants to stay in the same lane as me. I'll princess again. I have another princess down. I'll goblin gang on the left just to be annoying. Force out maybe Mega Minion or Skelly Drags. Perfect. Skelly Drags are the preferred thing to force out. I'll E-Spirit here. Maybe keep it alive. But if not, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for the Tesla here on defense. And now I can just go for a second princess. I will princess all the way in the back, though. I don't want to give him spell value. I'll barrel here as well. In case he Valkyries, maybe he could mess it up. I'll go for the rocket here on the left. I do have Evo Tesla to bail me out, and he just ignores that Goblin Barrel straight up because he knows if he doesn't break through here, he's never going to break through. But luckily enough for me, I have Evo Tesla. I'm going to Goblin Barrel to pressure while defending. He has no guards, no Valk, no arrows. So this should be a good game. I'm going to log here, and then I can cycle back to another Tesla for that balloon. I don't want to rock it because Rocket will finish off the tower. And very nice win there, and that will be the end of the guide. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.